Hi and welcome to my fifth video on graph theory, Year 12 General, Unit 4, Topic 2. We're going to talk about oil and grass now. Uh, I'm going to mention oil area and trails and semi oil area and trails. And this will also come back to walks, trails, paths, all that kind of stuff again. Cycles, definitions of vertices, ages, etc. So um, you might have to revise some of that as well. So here's a couple of graphs that I've made. And one of them is an oil trail, one of them is a semi oil area trail. And this is a really good discovery activity, but on this video, I'm just going to give you the facts and then hopefully you've spent some time in class discovering it. Let's have a look at this first one. An oil area trail is a trail or a walk through a graph that covers every single edge, starts and finishes in the same spot. Let's see what we can do it here. So if I start at this edge, I go along to there, I follow this one around, I go up to here, I go down, I go along there, I come along here, and then I finish, and I started and finished there. And it doesn't matter which one I start on, I can do it. This is called an Eulerian trail. A semi-Eulerian trail, on the other hand, it's like this one here, is where I can start on a vertex, and I can complete the trail, but I don't finish on the same vertex. So let's say I start here, I might go out, down, out, up, down, there, and I finish here. Now, here's the magic. Let's grab a yellow pen. So, up here, I've drawn a little bit now, but let's have a look at the degree of all my edges. Degree 2, 2, 4, 2, 4. They all have even degree. That means it doesn't matter where I start, if I go into one and go back out, I use two edges. If I go into this one and back out, then I can go into this one and back out again, and I've used up all the edges. That's why it doesn't matter where I start. Down here though, I've got three there, two, three, two, two. If I start at this three, I move out, then I can go in and out again, now I've used three edges. But I can't get back there because I've used all three edges. So if I've got an odd number of, or an odd degree on any of my vertices, I can get out of there at the start, but I can't then finish there. Um, if I don't start there like I did in here, well, I went in and out, but I had to finish there, otherwise I couldn't complete the number of edges. So to make it semi-Eulerian, there needs to be two odd number vertices, and the rest have to be even. That's how we get semi-Eulerian, and the trail has to start at one of the odd number ones and finish at the other, otherwise you just can't complete the edges. If you have a graph that's got four odd number edges or six odd number edges, then we can't make a trail around um, in such a way that all the edges are covered. So there's some really important facts about Eulerian graphs. Interestingly, as a fine little aside, I couldn't have three odd number edges. So imagine if I said somehow that this was actually three. Three, 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 two, two. Remember every edge connects two vertices. So every edge is counted twice. I had three, three, two, 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 which is 12, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six edges because each edge is counted twice. If I've got three, 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 two, two, that's 13, which means I have six and a half edges, which doesn't make sense. It does in a directed graph, but not in an undirected graph. So there has to be an even number of odd degree edges, or vertices, if that makes sense. Definitely something worth thinking about um, because the logic is there and it could help you in one of those harder questions. All the best.